Hello everyone and welcome to Mesa Marin for round two of the Dr. Pepper Dash series here on the NSDCA. Starting on pole, Kyle Corbett for Rockstar Energy Racing in that number 32. He looking for that first career win and just his second career start. He sits 15th in points at the moment, but alongside him is the points leader. That is Casey Nienico. Dominated for most of the field's 100, lost it on a final lap restart after Austin Johnson got around him. And he lost the race. Nanako, though, your points leader. Behind them, Brad Stover in that six. And Daniel Cobbs in the 93, who had a very horrible Homestead race weekend. Sitting fifth, though, is the number 30. That is Austin Delgado this week. Ryan Miniker not in the car. After he got into Adam Mitchell and spun him around at Homestead, the team had to sit the 30 driver out. Miniker on a run one race uh, suspension and on probation for the remainder of the season. Alexa Luchon, Max Anderson, Zach Rogers, Sam Picard, James Ellison, your top 10 here starting off at Mesa Marin. 25 laps. It's a short one, but going to be exciting. Short track race and returns. The Dr. Pepper Dash Series a month after they ran at Homestead. Let's go ahead down track side for the commands to fire the engines here at the Cantoneo Bros 100. Drivers, stop your engines! With that, the engines are fired. 22 drivers for 25 laps at Mesa Marin. Kyle Corbett and Casey Nanico lead us down, but look at Brad Stover for Harmon Benning Peterson. They had a pretty struggling, uh, pretty bad time in the MDCS and CRTS race weekends, but now Stover starts third here at Mesa Marin. The rest of the field trying to pull off. It's 22 drivers here, 25 laps around the Mesa Marin Speedway. These guys all looking for that win, but don't count out the one girl. That's Alexa Luchon back there. She has that one career win from last season with Jones Racing, Inc. Starting off, oh, Kyle Corbett and Casey Nanico lead us down. Brad Stover in the 93. That's Daniel Cobza in fourth. Coming on down to take the green flag. 25 laps. Green flags in the air. We are racing at Mesa Marin in the Dr. Pepper Dash Series round number two. Corbett dives into turn one. He's going to pull away with the lead. Now Brad Stover walks it up the track. They're going to be three wide already as Stover drops to the back. Look at Austin Delgado getting very aggressive for the racing group's number 30 car. Up in front, though, it's Kyle Corbett. Out in front, Casey Nanico second. Delgado clearing to third. Max Anderson looking for that fourth position on Daniel Cobza. Behind them, Zach Rogers in the 21. He DNQ'd. He did not make the field's 100. Now he's here for Texas Star Racing, trying to move his way up through the grid. Up front, they're single filed out, but in the back, two by two for basically the rest of the grid outside of the top five. Daniel Cobza goes down, tries to throw the block. These two have some history from the field's 100. Zach Rogers right up to the back of him, moves Cobza out of the way. Now Rogers looks to the inside, sending Cobza right to the back, and that's where Zach wants to see him. Top four now starting to get single filed out. Kyle Corbett pulling away from Casey Nanico. You got Austin Delgado in third, though, trying to tear his way through. Max Anderson fourth, Zach Rogers fifth. Picard's up to sixth. Seventh is Cobza. There is eighth. That is the 39 of Connor Wilson. Ninth, Eric Stamp. And now tenth as Jeff Bolton in that 36 team for OTC Racing. They're moving their way on up. Scott Roush further back. Adam Mitchell as well. Right back there. There's Vince Freeze. Uh, James Ellison started this race in 10th. Brad Stover started in, in third. They are now almost about to fall out of the top 20. There you see Dale Cole Jr. in that 89. There's a 57 Zebra Tour. He did not make the show last time. Brad Stover up the track. They are three wide. And Harmon Benning Peterson, that is heartbreak for them. They are now 22nd on the grid as the FRR 78 Ashton LaJoy pulls around him. Right now up in front, though, the top five, top field. Basically, the whole field starting to get single filed out up front. But they're sure to be getting a little bit more racy as this race goes on for the back Eric Stamp. Heartbreak for them. They blew an engine in their heat. Were not able to make it out for the LCQ and did not do much in the LCQ, I should say. Uh, the team struggled at Homestead. They are up inside the top ten as they run. Up front, though, it's Kyle Corbett for Rockstar Energy Racing. Back in second, Connor uh, Casey Nanico, not Connor Wilson. Casey Nanico in the 85 for Columbus Autosport, trying to hold on over Austin Delgado. You see Delgado back there in third in the 30 car. Now Max Anderson trying to hang on over Zach Rogers. That's fourth and fifth for two of the biggest teams in the NSDCA. Claude Foster Racing Operations, number 71. That's Sam Picard. He sits sixth. The Dirt Racing Specialist, Daniel Cobza, in seventh. 
Eighth is the 39. That's Connor Wilson. Ninth is Jeff Bolton and 10th, Eric Stamp. Further back, you're seeing 11th. That's John Felber. He had a pretty good run uh, going at Homestead till he was crashed out. Heavy damage to the 26 team. They did not make the show. Heartbreak for BK Racing, but they are still trying to find some speed here in the DPDS. Back up front, though. Uh, the 32, that's Kyle Corbett pretty much pulling away from this thing. The whole field sitting single file right now. Hopefully we'll be seeing some more racing as this goes on. As you see Bolton get right up in there, dive to the inside of Connor Wilson. Now we got a battle for eighth brewing up, and there you see that 36. He's going to dive to the inside of Connor Wilson looking for that eighth position. Can he slide up and get it? Further up, Max Anderson going to the inside of Austin Delgado. That's for the third spot, and that's going to be given to Max Anderson and that 87 team. He's going to clear himself into third. Delgado drops to fourth. Zach Rogers in that 21. He's sitting right now, sitting pretty inside the top five. Further back, Eric Stamp getting passed by John Felber. Felber now moves himself inside the top ten. And now further up, Zach Rogers looking to get his nose to the inside of Austin Delgado. Delgado is an Anjato prospect, and Zach Rogers is a Texas Star Racing prospect. The season one uh, rivalry for the championship brewing up right there. Could be seeing it with a new generation of drivers soon enough. But up front, Casey Nanico starting to reel in Kyle Corbett, but Max Anderson is coming. This 87 car was fast at Homestead. Right now, he's up in the third position, but Nanico chasing down Kyle Corbett. 11 laps to go at Mesa Marin. Flyby off of the corner as they head down the front straightaway. Mostly the whole field single filed out. Alex uh, Alexa Luchon further back there. There's something wrong with Brad Stover's six because he is very, very slow in that car right now. Could be a lap car uh, if, if he doesn't pick up the pace. But now Corbett trying to run different lines. Casey Nianico trying to catch that 32 once again. But Max Anderson has caught him. You got the 30. The 21 of Zach Rogers could be making a move on Austin Delgado here for the fourth position shortly. So they're fighting kind of hard up there. Kyle Corbett up in front, though, in this 32, trying to hang on for Rockstar Energy Racing. They have never won in the NSDCA in any series. And now Kyle Corbett looking to take this one home. Just eight to go. Coming to seven to go here at Mesa Mara. Now, Zach Rogers dives to the inside of Austin Delgado. That is for the fourth position. The 21 is going to get there. Pull around the 30, and it looks like he will clear Zach Rogers up to the fourth position. Daniel Cobbs are back in seventh. Maybe that isn't the uh, payback that Zach really wants right now, but it's good enough. He's right now inside the top five. Cobbs are fighting back there in the seventh spot, but the 30 of Austin Delgado looking to go right back after this 21. Down the front straightaway, right on the back bumper of him. Might be giving him a shot, and that he does turn in the 21 there in the grass. And now Austin Delgado getting very aggressive with Zach Rogers. He's not about to get turned again. Contact between those two racing hard. Rogers is going to pull away from it. Kyle Corbett just has six to go here at Mesa Marin before he wins. Casey Nanico chasing him down. Back in third, Max Anderson. Fourth, Rogers. Fifth is that 30 of Delgado. Sam Picard further back. The rest of the field, Scott Roush and the 0-2. That's Wyatt Coyle. They've been moving their way up through the pack steadily. Vince Freeze at the back. There you see the six car of Brad Stover. Poor Brad just kind of pacing around there in that Harmon Benning Peterson ride. But as this race is coming to a close, it looks like most of the field just too far apart to really get to anyone's bumpers. It's a pretty fast half-mile track, but Kyle Corbett, he's just four laps away from taking home his first career victory and winning for Rockstar Energy Racing. Further back, though, now it looks like Nanico's just losing more and more time on this 32 as he's driving away. But Kyle Corbett, three laps to go at Mesa Marin. Right now, just looking to come away with a victory. Uh, he's dominated all 23 laps this race so far. Now you see Jeff Bolton. He makes the move down to the inside of Daniel Cobza, and that will be for the seventh position if he can make it stick. Cobbs is trying to use that outside line like he is a dirt racer, likes running that outer line. Two to go now. Casey Nanico, Max Anderson, they're trying to catch up to this 32, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Nanico just does not have the speed. It looks like on the short tracks like he did on the speedways. But coming around for the final time, Kyle Corbett coming to take the white flag here for Rockstar Energy Racing. The Brass Stag Pub was a sponsor of Nicky Morris when he drove in the Red Bull Short Track Showdown back into the first season of that. But Kyle Corbett, they got the sponsorship for him. He's going to come through turns three and four. All 25 laps led today. Kyle Corbett picks up the win at Mesa Marin. Eric Stamp tries to edge out Connor Wilson. I think he does. Also, Wyatt Quayle gets the uh, Wyatt Quayle gets 
I believe Scott Roush there for the 12th position, but Kyle Corbett, fantastic performance for him. Rockstar Energy Racing gets their first win in the NSDCA. Kyle Corbett brings it home in the Dr. Pepper Dash Series. A great race, a bit more single filed out, more spread out, but everyone racing pretty cleanly. A little bit of damage to the O2 back there. Must have gotten mad at someone post-race, but... Uh, not many, not much action here at the end of this one, but it was Kyle Corbett leading all 25 laps here at Mesa Marin. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. The Crown Royal Truck Series will go live from Mesa Marin later on this weekend. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time on the NSDCA.